Hey, this is uh, how pitch wood happens, and um, sometimes it happens naturally from a natural injury to the tree, but the pitch is a way that the tree protects itself from rot, so when it's injured, it floods the area with this pitch, which is antifungal, antibacterial, I mean, it's just gnarly stuff, nothing can live in it, right? So when you cut a tree off, you know, it doesn't exactly die right away. This tree has no chance of living, it has one chance of living, actually. And I'm not going to tell you what that is because it's going to be another video. It's, it's dying, but it's not really dead yet, right? I mean, the roots are still alive, so it perceives that it has a terrible injury and it starts flooding that area with pitch. The pitch isn't just in the wood, obviously. If I cut this tree down, which, you know, they already cut this tree down, right? This is my neighbor's place. And the wood isn't like this. It's not saturated with pitch. It's just regular fir wood. It has some pitch. If there's old injuries or cracks from like uh, wind stress, it may have uh, pockets of pitch and lines of pitch, but this is being flooded with pitch and saturated with pitch. In some cases, that is really strong. In many cases, it only affects part of the tree, then the rest of the tree that it doesn't affect rots away. Parts of this wood will be here for a very, very long time, you know, decades at least, because they just will not rot with that pitch in there. The parts that are only a little bit saturated will eventually start to rot a little bit. The rest of it, you know, it's extremely durable. Great stuff. Great stuff for starting fires. It's also rot resistant. It's pretty, pretty neat material in general.